Uh -huh. in West Texas, they love it. Well, Alright, well, see you later, Ken. Yeah, I will. Hello, everybody. The date today is Tuesday, April 27th, and we are at a spot where I'm hoping to find some salamanders. Today was our first day of this spring where we saw some warm spring rains. It was in the 50s, currently in the low 40s, which means it's absolutely perfect to go out find some prairie dog towns, and walk some of my favorite little salamanders. So without further ado, I'm going to make the quick hike over to where we're going to be searching today, and I will check in then. Big great horned owl. Don't spook. There he goes. <laughs> One of my favorite animals in the whole world. I wasn't seeing as many as I would have liked to have at that other spot, so I broke down and came to the main squeeze, and boy am I happy I did, because as you can see, place is absolutely alive with tiger salamanders tonight. We visited this spot earlier in the year and had decent success, but I came back tonight to see that it is absolutely alive with tiger salamanders. As you can see though, they are everywhere. There's two there, one more there, absolutely everywhere. One, two, three, four or five. It's absurd. There's another big one. Low patterning on that one. Here's a really cool looking tiger salamander in situ here just making his way up the creek. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta love it. Absolutely amazing. These guys right here. I know we already checked this spot out this year but this rain tonight must have uh, brought them out into the open because they're absolutely everywhere. Keep walking up this creek, but we'll see another one. Thanks to whoever's leaving their crap at this extremely special spot. It's hard to narrate to people just how irritating it is to have such a naturally amazing place and see their crap in it. There's quite literally an orgy of tiger salamanders in here right now. There must be, there's three right there, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth that is kind of hard to get because of these reeds. Look at this one, he is cool. Look at that one. <laughs> that one there, look at him, he is cool. And they are going at it. This is amazing. There's three, four, five. God. And keep in mind, this is one pool. Out of, look, there's two more. Just doing what they do. Nearly patternless there. There's the cool one. Look at him. Look at that thing. Another there. God, we are so lucky. We've got quite a bit more habitat here to check out. Um, I'm going to abandon this spot, and we'll come back later, but for now we're going to keep moving. We're at the next pool. Um, they seem to have kind of a certain criteria to what they will breed in, because uh, they're not in all of it. But as you can see, here's one, two more. One on the top is pretty reduced on that pattern there. There's another one there. The water's pretty murky here, so it's tougher to see them, but they are here. There's a really, really nice looking one, too, with uh, the one on the left there being particularly handsome. The one on the right, not so much. There's not many places anywhere where you can just come see a little, literal orgy of salamanders incredible and we're not even bothering them just standing here in my uh, rubber boots and my light just watching them there's another one right there it's harder to see in this pool super cool stuff so unfortunately um, not all of the salamanders are unluck are as lucky as some of them and um, some like this guy down there do perish but uh, still just working our way up there's one right there look just Bullin' on the land. Here's another one. Just hanging out. 
The population density in this particular spot never fails to amaze me. I mean, this is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 or 40 tonight. I mean, it's just like everywhere I look, there are salamanders on the move. I mean, jeez louise, look at this. It's absurd how dense and how variable. We're back at this main pool here. Look at, he just came up for a breath. That one there, that big one is really cool looking. He is awesome. One of the nicer ones here for sure. There's another one. One coming up towards my feet. There's a cool one. Neat looking pattern. I can't really express how cool this is to someone who's never been here to see it. But just like everywhere you look, there are salamanders mating and next year some of their former offspring might be back to to mate as well that one is huge that one is gorgeous that one's pretty nice all around just a stellar night it is currently the fourth day of may if you listen closely it is raining which means it is perfect time to go out and road cruise for some more salamanders uh there's really not too much to say other than that so i'm gonna get to a road pretty close to home we should be there in about 20 minutes and hopefully the salamanders are out crawling around and we will be able to enjoy them tonight first big guy of the night oh it's it's a pine cone okay Alright, we are at our spot for the night. First one up is a Woodhouse's Toad just sitting out here in the rain. Um, we're probably going to see a ton of these guys tonight. Um, I literally just got to this spot, but um, we're going to escort him off the road in as timely a fashion as possible and keep moving. Alright, um, maybe a quarter mile up the road. Next one of the night... There's another Woodhouse's toad here. This guy is a little bit lighter than that last one, but they are out in force tonight, so I'm not going to take too much time. He's beefy. <laughs> another rather large and rather handsome Woodhouse's toad just hanging out right on the shoulder of this road. And <laughs> um, these things aren't too, too special. We are going to see probably a thousand of these this summer, but. Um, these are my first amphibians here, so I'll take a little bit of time to talk about them. And this is number three for the night, but otherwise, just gonna move this big handsome guy off the road and keep on moving. Keep, go on. All right, whatever, see you later, buddy. Right in front of the car here is another big boy. Usually these guys are a little bit brighter in coloration, but uh, because of the cool temperatures, they're this um, dark green color, which is uh, pretty cool to see, having seen them always be so, uh, bright and colorful, but this darker coloration is because of the cooler temperatures. Uh, right now it's about 45 degrees, but another Woodhouse's Toad. Maybe 15 seconds up the road, and we've got another big one. This one is a lot more typically colored. The best way to tell these apart from any other toad is going to be that white stripe down the back. Handsome guys love the eyes on all amphibians, these guys included. I will now be taking bets as to how long it takes for the cops to show up, because I have literally stopped every quarter mile for the last 10 minutes <laughs> and jumped out and grabbed toads off of this road. Another big handsome Woodhouse's toad. It's great to see these guys are out, but I'm sure hoping to find some spadefoots or some salamanders here soon. Who else could it be but another Woodhouse's toad? Another pretty dark one there. This one a little bit smaller than the ones we've been seeing, but they are out. All right, people, I saw what is quite literally one of my favorite things in the entire world back here. Starting to think that I lost it. And I did. Are you kidding me? There was a salamander. I, I did see one. Alright, well, I'm gonna go cry in the car for about 45 minutes. Uh, 
that's close to ten now. Still crying about the salamander. Oh! Oh, and even better, it's something we hadn't seen yet tonight. God, taking L. <laughs> and there's another one. Uh, the last few minutes have sucked. We found a plain speedfoot dead. And I lost a tiger salamander off the road. So we're really thriving right now. But it's alright. It's not even uh, 11 o'clock yet, so we're going to keep rolling. There's another one. This one is pretty big in comparison to some of the ones we've been seeing. But another Woodhouse is towed. Check out the pupils on him. He is seeing everything tonight. Good stuff. We're going to keep moving. Oh, jeez Louise. There it is. Well, that is a plain spade foot. Oh, that's awesome. This is kind of one of the big things I was hoping to see tonight. And there it is. Sweet. These guys are incredible. I'm not going to be able to show it to you on this guy. Uh, just because I have two hands. One's holding a light and one's holding a camera. Um, but they've got a little spur on the back of their legs that allows them to dig into sandy soils um, when it is dry. And when it's rainy like it is tonight, they come out and they sit in the roads and they enjoy the moisture. It's exactly what this guy's doing right now. This is actually only the second one I've ever seen in this county. Uh, the first one was found in my mom's window well when I was a little kid. Um, but this is super cool. Um, one of the big things I was hoping to see tonight, the other being a tiger salamander. So um, I'm going to get a quick photo here with my phone and we're going to keep on moving. Okay, well, I guess they turned them on because there is another plain spade foot. That is really cool. Those guys are so cool looking. It's getting to the point in the night where there's another one. Check that out. That is number three right in a row. Another plain spade foot here in Douglas County, Colorado. Awesome. Possibly the nicest looking one of the night, too. If I was not by myself and if there were not tiger salamanders to find, I just might photograph this guy. Um... Check out the eyes on him, though. Isn't he awesome? Jeez Louise. Gonna move this guy and keep on moving. There you can see it really nicely. That little black spike there. Um, that's what they get their name from, spade foot. That's their little spade that they have on the back of the foot. So um, we're gonna keep moving. Hopefully turn up that salamander shortly. Here is your storybook ending for the night. I was driving up this road, and here he is. Tiger salamander number one. Um, I'm not too upset about not having seen a ton of these guys just because, you know, the last video was 40 of them. Real handsome fella here. <laughs> these guys, oh god, I love him. He's doing a salamander just through the road here. How could you not love that? Honestly, one of my favorite animals on the planet right here. Check that guy out. <laughs> oh man, if I get the cops called by these rich people back here. It's all worth it. He's a man on a mission. He's going somewhere. Where to, we do not know. But he goes. Who guides him is unknown. For only the salamander can decide why the sala meanders. Okay, this is getting stupid. All right, um, I'm gonna get a quick phone shot of this guy. Um, and we're gonna keep moving. I told myself I would go until we saw one of these. We have seen one, so I think I'm gonna go home and get ready for bed. Um, I've got a lot of schoolwork to do tomorrow, so ending the night on a good note here. I'm headed back home, and there's another one. A really nice looking one, too. I might break out the camera gear and get a couple of photos, because he's so handsome. All right, so I was just about home. I found a really, really cool looking tiger salamander, <laughs> maybe five minutes away from home. Um, I'm freezing, he's freezing, so I'm going to let him go, go home, crash, and get up tomorrow early and edit this video.